Hey Aquarius, welcome to your new weekly reading for August. This is TC, your guiding chariot. This is going to be a timeless general reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Um, some house rules out of the way. This is timeless, so even though it's getting posted in August, if you find it in September, December, next July, does not matter. The message is going to come to you when it's meant to, so don't worry about the timing. My only ask is that you take the reading as it resonates. Don't try to force any of the messages. If there's a certain card or a certain statement that comes out, doesn't fit your circumstance, doesn't fit your situation, leave it on the table. It just wasn't meant for you. Take the rest. So my regular subscribers, we're gonna take it. We are gonna, we're gonna take that too. Um, <laughs> you'll notice it's a little different if you've subscribed and seen my videos before. So if you didn't see my Timeless Tuesday video, please go watch it, go check it out. Um, but I am visiting some friends for the next two weeks, so I am filming from their place. So forgive me if the setup changes, does a little different. I'm filming on my phone for the first time, so I hope everything is sounding good and sounding okay. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. We're going to start this reading with a few oracle cards for you. And then, as always, we'll go into our tarot. I feel like three is enough. We'll do those three. All right, my lovely aquas. Well, I can't say this is a complete surprise. So first cut out, they came out rock bottom. So we know last, I think it was last reading, maybe even the reading before, it was it was a little bit of a rough one. Nice healing coming through, but it was a, you were going through some tough stuff, Aqua. Um, feels like we're still kind of in it. The I will say one thing that's kind of nice about rock bottom, we're not going any further. Like, here it is, this is it. Doesn't mean to make it easier, but this is the this is the toughest part, right? So from here now we really get to allow in the healing. From here we get to channel, you know, the new outcome, the new road, the new path. We have here the talisman. Beautiful tool. You think of a talisman, it's you know, could be a necklace, could be a pendant, but it's it's a tool to help enchant, right? So this is being loaded with your intentions you know, for the new. This could be used for your healing. This could also be used for some new manifestations. So there is a little bit of magic there and um, focusing, right? Because that's what a talisman does. It focuses energy for a specific goal, a specific purpose, right? So that's essentially that's where this power is coming from, right? It's almost being demanded to fix, you know, whatever's going on with this rock bottom. And then we also have a lot of clearing as well with clean the house. So um, who is someone else? I think it was Libras. I want to say it was Libras also got this card. Um, slightly different energy though, knowing that, you know, what's been going on and what's, what you've been dealing with Aquas. Um, obviously every case will be slightly different depending on, on what your situation is. But with, with your cleaning the house, it does feel more like releasing. Something needs to be let go. Someone needs to be let go. It, a situation has to come to an end. This cleaning house is tying up the loose ends and, and finally finally finishing it all off, putting the nail in the coffin. So there is a need for endings, right? Which makes sense because here with the talisman, we're trying to manifest some new beginnings, which obviously are based off of this struggle that we've had to deal with. So these two very heavily con connected as we are, are still kind of managing the aftermath and, and, and healing the damage and fixing the problems from this rock bottom energy, it's time to release all of that out. Because it's not about whatever happened, whatever the struggle was, it's not about necessarily fixing it, right? There may be things to fix, but the, the situation, the cause of it, it's not about fixing that, it's about getting rid of it. It's time to let it go because we are trying to manifest some new over here and we're trying to focus the energy into that newness versus leaving it stuck and dwelling on all this old stuff. So literally it's time to clean house and get all that junk out. This talisman could also be guidance. Like you'll notice the woman in the, the card here. Let me, we're not taking that. That's a huge, we're not taking that. They're meant to come out, they'll come out again. Um, you'll notice this woman is walking down a road. She's on a path. Two of Pentacles out so far. I will show you the cards. We'll get to it. I'm going to get a few more out. 
Um, but you'll notice this woman in the talisman card is on a path. So this talisman could be something to help guide you, right? Either lead you away from something, because you'll notice this woman is walking away from us, not toward us. So you are kind of separating yourself from something. And it's something that has just been so hard and so trying. Sorry, I'm looking at that card that landed face up. Real into it. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Thank you. Share it on the bottom. Swift movement, right? Travel for some of you. So two of pentacles, like I said earlier, the need to be flexible, the need to be open to new things, right? If an opportunity pre presents itself, doesn't mean you have to say yes, but you should at least consider it, feel it out, think about the possibilities. There's a need to, you know, be a little more fluid this week, my water bearers. You also have the ace of pentacles coming out right after that. This ace is that new opportunity. This is what we're trying to manifest here with this talisman. This is the gift being offered. This is what taking this place of this low vibrational or trying situation, person, energy, whatever it is. You also have some major assistance here. So we have, I love these two like incredible women right here. We have temperance, which is all about patience and divine timing, right? Things kind of happening behind the scenes for you as well. Color wise, don't these look very similar? Temperance and this talisman. So definitely being blessed in some way, my lovelies. And then Queen of Wands, this is really your energy. This is you manifesting, feeling confident, feeling secure, right? The wonderful thing about the Queen of Wands, she's not chasing anybody. She's not trying to convince anyone that she deserves this. She earned this. I earned whatever this, but I earned this gift. That's supposed to be mine. I'm just going to go out and just take it. That's not what she does. She knows she's worthy. She already knows she deserves it. And she literally is just a magnet for it. So very charming, charismatic energy. Very fun, very sensual. So some of you might be, might be sowing some oats maybe. But beautiful, beautiful energy to manifest in. And it's a strong, confident power. But it's a quiet power. She doesn't have to assert herself. It's not about dominating anybody. You just, you are just, you are who you are. And what you need is coming right? But she manifests from a place of stillness, but she still has to know what she wants, right? So we still need to clean house so we can kind of purify all of those intentions. What do we have here? So we've got Queen of Cups popping up. Lovely, more, more divine feminine energy popping in. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. We also have the High Priestess. So Lots of feminine energy going on in here. So I feel like I'm definitely talking to some divine feminines. Does not mean I'm only talking to women, all right? Um, it's an energetic thing, not necessarily gender. So this can be speaking to someone who's generally just more receptive. But I almost wonder if what's happening here has to do with a relationship and not a really balanced, equal, or positive relationship, having the Two of Cups come up in reverse like that. Something's a little wacky, something's a little out of sorts, needs some healing. But honestly, this is a trigger that's helping to strengthen you. This, I almost wonder if this is intended to be difficult or be rough for the same reason, to free you, to strengthen you, to empower you. Because again, look how much strong feminine energy is in here. Four cards already, temperance, we have two queens and a high priestess. So two majors and two queens. Beautiful, beautiful story that's evolving here. And this high priestess is all about intuition, your inner self, your higher self. This is knowing your needs, your wants, what, your, what truly helps you to thrive, what your purpose is, why are you here, right? Again, you could almost argue this is like the high priestess leading you forward with all of her secrets and higher knowledge and wisdom. So this is, this really is a beautiful healing for you. I feel like we've talked about this already in the past weeks, especially this, this situation, right? I mean, there's definitely new love coming for you. Oh, you have the devil popping up now. So it could be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, Temperance is the card for Sagittarius. So it could be dealing with a Sag, possibly. High Priestess, maybe a Cancer or Pisces, lots of people could be popping up here. But this Devil card is about facing those demons. It's facing those behaviors and those patterns of behaviors also. 
that cause us to repeat cycles that make us live through you know bad relationship to bad relationship to bad relationship and again this feel oh look six of cups on the bottom better days ahead we're taking that we're taking that um totally lost my train of thought i got so excited over this six um but again it's the devil is all of those things that keep you stuck in this loop because this is ego right this is ego trying to keep you where you are Ego doesn't want you to grow and evolve and become wiser because then you learn you don't need ego and that you are not your ego. You already know that, Aqua. I'm, I'm fairly confident most of you watching already know you are not your ego, right? You're so much more than that. You are a soul, not a body. Things are getting easier, but first we must face our demons, right? But that's why all of this strengthening is happening. This is almost, this is something being done for you, right? Because without this lesson, we wouldn't break free. We wouldn't break this cycle, right? I know, I swear we talked about this in a previous reading. I swear we did. Yep. Love this. So Knight of Cups, sorry, Knight, yes, Knight of Cups and Nine of Wands. I love seeing them both reverse. Knight of Cups is this, is this fool. It's whoever this, this person is. Because the Knight of Cups, upright, beautiful emotional offer, someone ready to commit, someone sharing his cup of love. In the reverse, this is someone who just loves the chase. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter where you are, they just love the chase. Once they, once they catch their prey, then they go chase something else. That is not the relationship you want. And I would almost argue that's been the cycle you've been in. Someone who took advantage of you, used you, didn't, didn't cherish you the way they should. That's the type of energy that's leaving, right? Because with the nine of wands here, we're letting it go. We're not, we're being willing to flex. We're being willing to move and try something different. Sorry. I think I have a dog hair up my nose. I can just feel it. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> nine of wands. So it's, it's a willingness to release that hold, to release that place. I've been trying for so long, or I've been trying to make it work with this person for so long, you know, and it's very possible you are loving them, you know, for the both of you. But that's not healthy. That's not what you want. That's not what you deserve. We're trying to release you from that. And so I love seeing these two together. The guidance and the need to be flexible and the willingness to surrender. The willingness to let, you know, these outdated ideas or these old patterns go. Right? Because it's time for them to leave. Okay. Makes sense. Ten of Pentacles and Three of Wands in reverse. So Three of Wands. Yes, the card of waiting. Yes, the card of of manifestations coming in, seeing them kind of enter the physical. They're coming closer. In reverse, again, I think that's why this talisman and this um, cleaning house. Sorry, I couldn't remember what it was. Um, cleaning house are kind of coming in with this with this shift with this trying time that you've. I want to say you've gone through it. I don't think it's something that's necessarily maybe still here happening now. Could be for some of you, but I think for most of you, this is kind of past and you're just kind of like putting everything back together. This is an energy of not healing, but finding um, like it's like course correcting. Now that this obstacle is gone, where do we head from here? What's the next step on the map? Where's the next point of interest? This three of wands is is almost saying it's time. Let's go. It's we're ready, right? But again, we don't know what we're ready for, right? We don't know what it is because this is what we're bringing in. This ten of pentacles. We're making this happen. So we're finding this abundance. We're finding this legacy. But again, we just don't know what that feels like. What that looks like. What we want it to be. And, you know, I, I feel like I'm saying this and I can guarantee there's some of you yelling at the screen right now when we're like, no, 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 no. I know I want, I want, I want my partner who, you know, fills all these requirements. I want the house. I want the job. I want this. You all know what you're desiring. Yes, that is a great thing. It's also not enough. It's not enough to know it and think it here. You also have to do some emotional work with it as well, especially since you've already shown up. Actually, you got them both. So you've got Queen of Fire and Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups, sorry, where, who's where? Queen of Cups. 
all about that emotional body, right? All about that emotional well-being, that depth, that receptivity, the feels. And then remember when I talked about the Queen of Wands, she doesn't manifest by getting out there and doing it and making it happen. And she's also not thinking about it, you know, analytically and, and laying out the steps and the plans. She feels it. She owns it. Both of these have to do with vibes, one with emotions and one with, you think, spirit and intentions and motivations, right? So you are manifesting from a place of feelings. So it's not, it's not enough to think of the characteristics and label all these things. What would it feel like to have this partner? What would it feel like to work in this job? How accomplished would you feel? How successful would you feel? What is the feeling that, you know, when you walk into your office or when you come home from a day of work, how does that feel? What does it feel like to live in this particular house, to have this lifestyle, right? Think of the feelings. That's where you're going to manifest from. And then also a sense of belief, knowing that you're worthy of those things, knowing that you're capable of of maintaining that lifestyle, of, of doing all the things it requires and filling those responsibilities. That's where you are manifesting from. And I think that's where a bit of the shift is from. And also that's the energy this talisman is going to amplify to help boost that manifestation even also, or even more really. And this clean the house is getting rid of the ways that aren't working, right? And again, that makes sense with trying something new, getting rid of all the old outdated beliefs so that you can try something new. So your, your, your willingness is expanded. You're a little, you have a little more freedom, Aquarius. We love freedom. Freedom is a good, good thing. Oh, look, chariot's back. Was it? Someone had chariot on the, on, on the bottom of the deck. I thought it was you. Feel like they're still... Now you've got the King of Cups. Love that. Love that. So yes, for those of you where this is a relationship, which I would say probably a lot of you it is, it's this Two of Cups, so it's either a past failed relationship, a current relationship that's kind of rocky, waiting for this new one because we've been through tons of cycles of, of guys or girls that just didn't do us right or were disappointing in some way or fell short of expectations. Someone's coming towards you. But again, this king is going to vibe with his queen. So on an emotional level, you you both need to be ready and clear and open and receptive, right? Because that's going to be the proper match. We literally were talking about that with these two queens. So these energies, you truly need to, be em to embody to be the right match for this king. This person's going to be very aware of your emotional well-being, very aware of... Um, any sensitivities you have, right? Because if your emotional world is starting to get out of whack, that's going to start to affect other things. This person is going to be aware of that and want to be there for you and want to give you emotional care and emotional support, right? Because that's what the King of Cups does. He can ride the wave of all the emotions, but he can still hold center. He can still stay balanced. The emotions don't run him, right? So he can be kind of reserved because he may not he may not be super forward. He may not talk a whole lot. Um, he also may not necessarily speak about his feelings in a way, but know that he understands that world. Know that that's what almost connects the two of you. And this is what you need someone who can be emotionally nurturing to you, right, Aquarius? Because when someone, you know, it's it's so easy to, I don't want to say it's easy, no, that's that's not the right phrase. It's not easy to hurt in Aquarius. You guys are pretty tough. You guys, you guys can handle your own. But like when something disappoints you, when something falls short, it can create a lot of pain. This person coming in is going to be very aware of that, right? This person's going to know, you know, they might have to learn it once. I'm just saying. But you know, this person's going to respect that and know to treat you a certain way because of it. Versus other people who probably, you know blamed you for all these feelings, it was your fault for da 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 Like I said, all these really hurtful things that have made no consideration for your emotional well-being. That's not the case with this one. But again, you have to align your emotional space so when the two of you meet, you are the right vibration. All right. I'm going to wrap up your reading there. Whew. Chris, it's almost exhausting me. Like, this was rough. This, this was rough. 
but again, it was something being done for you to free you from this old cycle and to help you kind of realign yourself to this new path. So in a way, we can totally be grateful for this moment. May not have enjoyed it, but we'll look back and laugh one day. That's exactly how it's going to go out. All right, my loves, take care of yourself. As always, I love you. I love you. I love you. Take care. Be safe. Thank you as always for all the love and support you share me. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already, please subscribe and join our, our crew of Rider Dies. We get together every week and talk messages and astrology and crystals and tarot and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so coming back, make sure you hit that notification bell. Until next time, stay safe in this crazy world of ours, and I will see you in your next video. Bye, Aqua.